Hello, I'm Walter and welcome to my channel. If you are a regular follower of my videos, you've probably noticed that I haven't been posting much. Well, to be honest, I sort of go into hibernation when it comes to the winter. Uh, I don't like to stand out in the cold. It's a little bit warmer today, so I'm going to uh, get out and go to an area that is called Savage Mill. It is a area, it's sort of an historic area where they've remodeled and converted these um, historic mills into shopping areas. There's a park behind there. So I'm going to be traveling down to that. It's not a, too far from here. And the whole point of me doing this is that I've just got to get out of the house. <laughs> uh, you know, you can only take so much of being in the house, and that's happened to me. So uh, uh, thank you for joining me, and uh, I will see you when I get down to Savage Mill. All right. Bye. Well, I've made it down here to Savage Mill, and I think there's going to be a lot of uh, photographic opportunities. Now I'm sort of still in the middle of the day, so, um, you know, <laughs> there's going to be some glare, but uh, maybe I'm thinking about possibly turning these photographs, if I can find some, I think I can, into black and white, especially this old bridge here. Uh, there's a lot of things here. You've got the railroad track that is going across it and all of these crisscrossing girders in the bridge itself. So I think this is really interesting. So I'm gonna maybe try my hand at maybe taking some of these uh, photographs of this bridge. I have found a really nice shot here. And I have my 10 to 24 on, which makes it like the 16 to 35 equivalent to the full frame. And the distortion of the, of the fact that I have it at 10 millimeters is making for a real interesting photograph. Now there's a couple of things that I'm having to do here. First of all, because it's late in the day and I am, well, sort of not too far past not late in the day, not too far past the middle of the day. I'm going. I'm having to bracket because it's the light is really harsh, and I'm sort of taking the photograph towards the sun. Now there are some spots because of the sun in my photo, so I'm having to put my hand to shield the sun. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to do a little bit of extra work in post because of the fact that for me to be able to remove that spot where the light is shining, I forgot the technical name of it, uh, you know what it is, I'll put it up on the uh, down below or on the screen here, but my hand is in, in the way. So as a result of my hand being in the way, I'm going to have to take, I took, I'm going to have to take a couple of photos you know, a bracket of photos with my hand in the actual scene, and then a bracket of photographs without my, and then I'm in post, I'm gonna to have to just sort of mask out the those specular highlights that are showing up in the photograph. So this is a really nice photograph, or a composition, I really like it. I 
I made it across the bridge. Uh, I couldn't really do a lot of vlogging because there were just too many people walking back and forth. But I wanted to take a moment here to talk to you about what I was seeing. Now, as you see the bridge behind me, there are a lot of crisscrossing patterns and repeating patterns because of the way that the bridge was built. And that's very appealing to me. I, I really like those repeating patterns. I like shapes. As you are out doing photography, one way to make your photographs more appealing is to look for those patterns or shapes. You know, look for triangles, look for uh, circles, look for those repeating patterns. Now, what I was trying to do was using the converging lines of the top of the bridge so that part of the top was coming in from the top of my frame and sort of pointing down into a point. So that to me allows the viewer to be led through the bridge. And then some of the other photographs that I took today, I sort of was looking more closely at how the those repeating patterns were interplaying with each other based upon the structure that I was looking at. These patterns are all over the place. They're not just in man-made structures. They are in nature itself. For example, uh, maybe the trunks of the trees are lined up or maybe you have patterns of shadow and light and shadow and light. They're out there. And if the more you can incorporate those, the more you can incorporate leading lines into your photographs, the more appealing that they will be. Today was fun. Uh, I haven't uh, been out to take photographs of structures like buildings or bridges in a long time, so it, I really enjoyed uh, trying to find compositions. And this bridge is amazing with all of those repeating patterns and such. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then I would uh, please invite you to subscribe and click that bell notification icon. So I'm not, not sure exactly when I'll be posting another video, but I'm going to try to be consistent through the winter, uh, even though it's not going to be at a rate that it would be if it was the spring or summer. But I look forward to sharing another place with you here in the near future. So thank you again for joining me, and bye. And uh, there wasn't really enough room, a lot of room. Sorry, there's a 